respected council members and fellow medicals, friends. My name is Usha Mahajan, and I'm a resident of New Albany, Ohio. On behalf of more than 4 million American Hindus representing diverse ethnic and national origins, I stand here today to share a very concerning issue happening in the country of Bangladesh. Bangladesh is the eighth most populous country in the world and is one of the most densely populated nations. This is the nation that produced great souls like the Nobel laureate poet Rabindranath Tagore when it was part of India prior to its independence and partition in 1947 when it became part of Pakistan. Violence against Hindus in Bangladesh is not new. In 1971, 2.8 million Hindus were murdered by the Spanish Pakistan Army as the new nation of Bangladesh became independent from Pakistan. But the tragedy that the Hindus faced there didn't end in 1971. In the new nation that was created on the promise of freedom and secularism for all, the Islamists took back power within five years. The plight of Hindus continued until 2007 when Sheikh Hasina, the daughter of the founder of Bangladesh, came to power. However, Sheikh Hasina, the Prime Minister of Bangladesh, was forced to flee the nation during a military coup in early August 2024. The targeted minorities, mostly Hindus, are now the biggest casualty. With their places of worship, shops, and homes burned down, they are being hunted and killed using medieval practices of torture by the radical Islamists. The situation is reminiscent of Nazi Germany, where Jewish scholars and educators were humiliated and hounded by the Nazi brown shirts before the Holocaust began in 1939. Radical Islamist student mobs under the new interim government of Muhammad Yunus are hounding Hindu educators humiliating them in public and religious slurs and forcing them to resign from their jobs. Even after two months, the violence continues unabated. Hindu minor youth are lynched in front of army headquarters with police as bystanders. Many cases of brutal rapes in front of their families before killing the entire family has become the norm. Bangladesh Hindus live in fear and wait for their turn as the next candidate for rape and slaughter. This emerging situation is especially worrisome given the history of genocide against Hindus just 50 years ago. Videos, images, and stories from impacted victims coming out of Bangladesh in August sent shockwaves around the world. However, Sadly, mainstream media still wishes to stay silent and keep their lips sealed. The mass violence targeting Hindus and other minorities spans across 52 districts of the country, according to Bangladesh Hindu Buddhist Christian Unity Council. The Italian government of Mohammed Yunus is unable to control the religious extremism and large scale violence. The population of Bangladeshi Hindus has drastically reduced from 21% in 1971 to approximately less than 8% in 2024. According to Hindu, uh, according to American Hindu Foundation, over 11 million Hindus fled Bangladesh between 1964 and 2013 due to religious persecution and forced conversions. The name of this new game is desensitized and normalized genocide. The question I pose is, do Hindu lives matter? I humbly and earnestly urge my city council members to recognize and condemn the religion-based violence happening in Bangladesh. Thank you so much for giving me the time to read this. Thank you very much for your comments. And uh, as a reminder to, to all of us about uh, the atrocities that happen across the world. You know, we don't always hear about everything that happens in, on the evening news. Uh, sometimes you have to search a little deeper for your source of information. So I appreciate you coming forward and sharing that information with us. 
And uh, thank you again for coming tonight. Much I appreciate it. Thank you so much.